Digital transformation is changing every segment of industry, including higher education. There is a great opportunity for institutions to use digital transformation to prepare for the future. As a result of establishing robust digital transformation plans and strategies, HBCUs have the power to accelerate student, researcher, faculty and staff success and enable the institution's sustained success and growth for the future. We all know that cybersecurity is a growing concern across all industries. What does the cyber threat landscape look like today for higher education? Uh, the pandemic um, highlighted not just the cybersecurity concerns for higher education, but cyber infrastructure concerns for high, higher education. So tell me, what's the number one item HBCUs should be thinking about to secure their institutions for the future. That they make sure that the faculty, staff, and students are fully trained on cybersecurity and ensure that they also understand that they have to be vigilant about bad practices when it comes to cybersecurity. Any thoughts from anyone else? I, I consider a some research from blackfog.com and they indicated across the world more than 51% of ransomware attacks happen right here in America in institutions due to outdated secure, um, secure technology fall victim to the ransomware attack, which is why technology and money isn't the solution, it's the cybersecurity awareness. So what is the low hanging fruit investment every HBCU should make in cybersecurity? You want to make sure that any access into your infrastructure is secure, you're monitoring. You need to monitor um, your threats, your attacks that are hitting your firewalls. And so just strengthening your infrastructure would probably be one of the number one thoughts on every um, HBCU college university's mind. So how will your HBCU adapt to educate students of the future? Technology needs to be used in a more dynamic and innovative way to make the student experience and, and even student success more easily achieved. So tell me, how can someone ignite change? I, I do consider myself a change agent, but I also um, train students, you know, so they can be change agents on our campus as well. But that excitement is with the students because as they see me, you know, as someone you know, in my position, so involved in the technology and training of the students in innovation and, and technology that they too want to do it. Any thoughts from anyone else? So typically when it comes to the ability to ignite change, you have to be willing to embrace it head first. You have to be willing to overcome your fears. You also have to be willing to incite challenges amongst the faculty, staff, and students. So tell me, what do you think are some essential skills for upcoming students? Understanding, you know, the key elements in mathematics um, and, and some of the computer science basic skills. Um, oftentimes we find students want to get into these fields, but they're not um, confident because they have not taken the time to get the basic um, math skills together. Care to weigh in, Damien? Problem solving skills. People need to learn how to work independently. Critical thinking. Um, the ability to clearly and rationally think about things. Creativity, some people might say, well, you need to learn how to think outside of the box. I say you need to understand there is no box. Analytic, analytical thinking, comparing, contrasting, evaluating, synthesizing, and applying, and collaboration. How do you connect with other people? In your opinion, what is the best way to teach students to be agile? We have to start our students um, out early. Don't get stuck in one way of doing things um, that they need to be able to um, switch quickly or transfer quickly or easily adapt a new um, subject matter, or a new process or a new thought pattern and not get complacent. This has been great. Thank you all.